In this video I want to demonstrate how to build breadcrumbs on search results. This allows a user to a recognize the category of a page and b to directly click that category. Hey and welcome back, nice to have you in the seventh lesson of module three of my structured data training. I am Florian, the developer of SNP, the rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. If you want to use the plugin, please feel free to follow the link that you can find in the description area. In this video, I want to show you how breadcrumbs are built. You hopefully took all the lessons from the previous modules. If not, please jump back to the beginning or to a video where you think you need to refresh your knowledge. In this video, it's important that you've understood what structured data is and what rich snippets are. You need to know how and where you can find the right schema classes as well as their properties to create breadcrumbs. But now let's jump right in. A breadcrumb trail on a page indicates the page position in the site hierarchy. A user can navigate all the way up in the site hierarchy one level at a time by starting from the last breadcrumb in the breadcrumb trail. As always, we open up Google's reference to see what properties we need. Breadcrumbs are quite easy to understand because there is only one property we need. Therefore, there isn't really a lot to read and there is nothing special to consider. Google uses structured data from schema.org. In this case, we need two schemas, the breadcrumb list and the list item. The latter ones are needed for the individual breadcrumbs, while the first one lets search engines know that the schema is a list of multiple items. On that pages, you can find all properties that are possible. However, as you could see on Google's reference page, you don't need every single property listed there. You only need the required ones to get breadcrumbs in search results. On schema.org, breadcrumb list is a child of item list, which is a child of intangible, which is a thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, please go back to module one of my structured data training. It will be explained in full detail how schema.org is structured. If you watched some of the previous videos, you maybe remember that we have used the item list or the how to step schema already. They are also used on other schemas like recipes, mostly for their properties. When you click on either breadcrumb list or list item, the browser will bring you to that specific page of that schema. You can then find all the properties that are possible. However, you don't need every single one to get breadcrumbs in search results, as I said before. In this particular schema, we only need one, but we need it multiple times. That is the item list element property. You will see that in more detail in the example that I will create together with you in a bit. Before that, here's a quick note. In the video, I will use the built-in generator in SNP, my rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. If you don't have the plugin, please feel free to use the structured data generator on my website to follow the video instructions. The free generator does not have all the features the built-in generator has. So it might be that you get stuck at some point, especially when it comes to global snippets and the brand new looping functionality that allows you to automate breadcrumb generation. Let's begin. Because we want to use the breadcrumb list on multiple posts, we set up a global snippet. If you want to learn more about global snippets, please jump back to module two of my structured data training, where I explain in every detail what global snippets are and how they work all together. As you can see, snip comes shipped with some predefined snippets that maybe fit your needs already. If you don't see these snippets, please go to the settings page uh, of the plugin here and just hit the go for it button. Because there is a breadcrumb for posts snippets already, I will explain everything with this snippet. So let's open it up. And as we can see, we only have item list, multiple item list elements. And when you check the reference, we see that we need as many item list element properties as we have breadcrumbs. Um, a single breadcrumb is a list item, which needs three properties, item, name, and position. 
Now let's say we work with WordPress categories a lot. I have prepared a post about a motorbike that should explain what I mean. If I open up the post, you can see that this post can be found under Heritage, which is located under BMW, which is located under motorbikes. Let's say we want our categories showing up in search results. So we need all these categories in our breadcrumb. What we need here is an automation that allows us to automatically fetch these categories to create multiple elements for us so that we don't need to add them ourselves. This wouldn't be very economical either because the category hierarchy is different for every post. So this is exactly what the looping functionality does. We create one property which in this case is the item list element and define the sub schema, which in this case is the list item. Now we define that the plugin should loop through whatever we define here. In my case, I've defined that snip should loop through the categories. So what it does, it is it gets all three categories from the database and creates a list item for every category and fills the properties of the subschema with the current values. Basically, the loop runs three times and fills the values here with the new values from the database. Now, all we have to do is to select how the loop should fill the values. I have chosen to use the term title for the name and the term URL for the item property. Because Google wants us to sort by number, we also need the position property. Because we don't know how many categories we have, because the category hierarchy can vary in depth, we can just choose sequential number for the field type here. This basically starts with the number of one and counts up with every loop. So the first item list element property here is a loop which creates all the categories for us. In this, in our case, that would be three categories. What we now want is to add the post title itself to the end of the breadcrumb trail too. So that our breadcrumb trail looks like this. So what we have to do now is to add another list item to add this single post item as well. And this, and this is what I did here. Another list item list element, which is a list item. And what I did here, I just entered the post title for the name, the post URL for the item and the sequential number for this as well. So what happens here is the sequential number counts up one, two, three for the three credit categories and four for the last uh, item in the breadcrumb trail, which is the post title. Now we should check the output of the plugin using Google Structured Data Test Tool to verify that everything is okay. For this, I open up the test tool in a new browser window. As always, you should enter the URL to a specific post here. I need to enter the output of the plugin manually because I am on a local development site where this tool has no access to. So I run the test. Now we see all the item lists there. Note that the items may have a different order in the source code. However, that doesn't matter because we have used the position parameter that tells the search engines what the right order is. You can see them here and here and here. So as you can see, the first one would be motorbikes, the second one BMW, the third one heritage and the fourth one our post or the post title with the post URL. Unfortunately, this time there is no preview button. We have to wait until search engines have crawled our site with the new snippet again so that we can see this in action. 
back to our global snippet again. Of course, if you don't work with uh, categories a lot, you can always use a different loop. Um, if you use tags, for example, you can also use tags. And currently the plugin can also loop through the main query and through a menu if it exists. Okay, that's it pretty much. All right, let's sum everything up what we have learned in this video. At the time of the making of this video, the breadcrumb list snippet shows a breadcrumb trail right under the title in search results. Each single breadcrumb is clickable. All breadcrumb items are marked up as list items. To find the right properties, we used Google's reference pages and schema.org as always. We automated breadcrumb generation by using the global snippet and loop functionality in Snip, my rich snippets and structured data plugin. That's it for now. If you are interested in other rich snippets and how they are built, please consider watching another video created by me. Hopefully I can see you in another video very soon. Bye bye.